The mastery of abundance is really the mastery of wholeness, the dance of receiving and giving. In our culture, I would offer that we are probably pretty good at giving and maybe a little less comfortable in receiving. And I talk about this in the soul mirror in so many ways and shapes and forms. Think of the king of abundance bringing you into a new paradigm shift around duality, the yin and the yang, the swirl of energies of that feminine receptivity, that deep breath, and then the masculine exhale that giving of life back into the world, the carbon dioxide that the tree has so much beautiful use for. You're being asked to be more conscious and aware of the feminine and masculine aspects of you so that you can thrive, so that you can create balance and wholeness and harmony with those energies and honor them. That sovereignty of the master of abundance, the divine masculine in all of us that wants to create the life that we came here to create, it takes a connecting to all the elements, earth, air, fire, and water. And that fifth element is you. It is your soul, your spirit, the energy of the universe. I've talked about this in previous soul mirrors, this idea of four anchor points that go through the body, along the central channel, this river of energy and life vitality that you can plug into. So another way to look at abundance as you're breathing, all this beautiful wind and breath of life, anchor yourself inside of those points. I'm going to remind you of them. There's the one at the base of the spine. It's called Mula Bandha in Sanskrit, which means root lock. And if you imagine squeezing that area a little bit, like you're kind of squeezing the perineum down there and letting it go by half. The other energy is to squeeze the heart and to connect to that fire inside the heart and that watery emotional wisdom and the center of our universe. When you squeeze the heart a little bit, and that could be that, just tightening those muscles around the heart, just a titch. Squeezing the throat, just a touch, so that you can kind of feel the throat engage is another way to come into an anchor point along the central channel. And then, if you look up towards the sky or you close your eyes and roll your eyes up towards the head, you're going to connect with the pineal gland, which is the center of your mind. And you're going to connect with that higher mind, that creative mind. It's in Sanskrit wisdom traditions. It's sometimes referred to as the cave of Brahma. And that's where that is housed, that cave of creation. And those four anchor points are a really great way of thinking of the four elements, the four legs of a stool or a table. It's foundational. It is a way to land in the body. And what the king of earth is really good at is being in the body while also being of the universe and spirit and connected to all things. How else do we manifest? It's by being in and working with all of this. We come back to the body. We come back to the present moment where abundance lives and resides. And suddenly, the past and the future, memory and worry about what can be and strategy dissipates and dissolves like salt into a broth and we enter into a new place.